<laughs> That's the whole podcast. <laughs> it's just ASMR napping. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Your boy finally responded. That's okay. <laughs> That's the most chillest answer ever. Okay, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Hi, all. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> da da ding. What's that thing everybody's do? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the automatic sympathy. God damn. Okay. Welcome all to today's podcast. My name is Jara, or you can call me Jada. Because that's her name. Because that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast called Work in Progress, because we're all a bunch of people who are work in progress. We'd just like to introduce you to the person on my right. Oh, what? <laughs> Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Erin. I am the person on the right. And on my left. I'm Bianca. I'm the person on the left. <laughs> You're not a person who studies engineering. <laughs> and I also study engineering. And I also study engineering. Cool. Good to know that. Now, on today's episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking about what is different about being in a relationship versus what we expected going into a relationship because we're all in different stages of being in a relationship some of us have been in multiple some of us have <laughs> they <don't relax. laughs> some of us are just newish in relationships some of us have just been in for a long enough time and everything in between so we're going to talk about our like expectation ex english what's expectations, expectations versus yeah. reality so The boss level at level four. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm gonna power up soon to level six. <laughs> yeah, no. What level are you at? Mm. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah. So I'm in my first relationship. Ooh. It's been like three months and a bit, mm. and it's gone good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my first. I'm gonna say real relationship. Um, okay. We can delve more okay. into that. Later. Relationship. We'll delve more into that later. Um, I've been in mine for just over a year and a half now, and everything's going well. Um, if we're going by real relationships. <laughs> we'll live our real relationships to make everyone better. This is my third, and I've, it's been about over five months now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we all have different levels and real relationships. Different power, different, different power ups. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll cut to them. Different, what about like, different specializations? Um, what class are you taking? I'm thinking about taking the road class. For the <laughs> <laughs> Spin it back to D and D. Nice. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just. I think first off, it's good to talk about like what we like, like expectations. Like when you think of a relationship, what's like the first thing you kind of think of? I mean, I know. Okay. I know I was very cynical about relationships. <laughs> I remember, like, literally pretty much a week before she met this guy, she was talking about, like, I just don't get it. <laughs> She's like, I never saw the point of a relationship because, like, yeah. wait, you can derive happiness from another person and not the internet and food? It's called stealing other people's souls. It's Ooh, great. It's You'll like- get there soon. You have to reach level four. You're still on <laughs> level, like, two. Yeah. So yep, once yep. you get past that level three cool. boss battle, which is, you know, when you have your first argument, then you'll get that then I get to steal people's souls yeah it it's sounds like, fun it's a great update in the game it works well <laughs> but yeah like I just didn't see the point of relationships mm. and until like I'm like nah, so disgusted by myself now <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you're that cheesy person now. Ugh, the worst. I think that's just like the honeymoon stage though realistically it's very much like you're all kind of lovey-dovey with the person and then you kind of get past that stage and you're like, I hate you now, but I'm stuck <laughs> with you, so it's okay. If you make me want to kill you, but I love you. Yeah. You're kind of like, mm, yeah, you'll yeah, get yeah. there. I, I, like, that's the thing. I'm like 100% aware that I am in the honeymoon stage. Yeah, but like you know that yeah, kind yeah. of thing, yeah. Mm. I think for me in particular, my expectations were, if I had to like pick something, it was like, I had a lot of expectations of how to be in a relationship from like movies and oh, yeah. social media. Because mm. when you think of like, I'm, I grew up with a lot of like Disney films. <laughs> As we've discussed but like so when i think about it it was very much the stereotypical like you know guy has to do all the work he has to save the day all mm-hmm. of these things and the woman just kind of lays back does the cooking and cleaning mm-hmm. and i i still like don't realize it that it's actually ingrained in me mm-hmm. to the point where like it will be a scenario where like if i have my boyfriend sleep over i'll wake up and be like oh we'll make you some breakfast now he goes well why it's not your job to but i'm like of course it is i'm the woman Ooh, it's the yeah. job it's my job to and he goes you're no. not he goes no it's not, it's not your job he's like but no i can do it too and i don't realize it's like oh 
this is ingrained into me mm -hmm. that it's my job that because I'm a woman that I it was just always ingrained to me to get up make sure that breakfast was done and all this stuff because that was what was ingrained in my head hmm. and like even like you know when you think of like Disney films before all of like you know Elsa and before all the like all the ones that was like telling you like be mm -hmm. your an independent woman before all of those kind of came out although Milan was it was independent. <laughs> every every podcast we're gonna have a yeah, yes. transition of yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Reflection. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, Milan was she's an independent woman, but she, she still kind of had yeah, her. Yeah. It was all about the, like, it was like about, and it was also like that whole start of it was about that family expectation yeah. of like how to be a good wife. This is yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why I feel like I, my expectations of how to be in a relationship was like you know like. The stereotypical guy opens the door for you he you know will always say like oh my god you look so stunning like or like have you know be speechless and like mm -hmm. the, you know how movies like over dramatize like those mm -hmm. things i remember like when i first going out, was going out i was like oh you know people don't have to open the door so you can do it yourself mm -hmm. or like i do it to him now just to piss him off he hates <laughs> it. but you know yeah. like th i'm not saying that people don't do that like i have a friend he'll do it for me all the time he opens the door and all that stuff but like I didn't realize, like, in a relationship, it wasn't as simple as, like, oh, we're in a relationship, it means you have to open the car door, because I don't know how to use my hands, <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> That's, like, was my thing. I don't know if that was what you guys felt as well. I or... think for me, it was mostly, like, I thought it was going to be easy. Mm. Like, it's like, mm. okay, you have feelings for this person, it's just going to stay like this, but you have to actually you have to, keep like, working at it. Yeah. To keep, you can't just keep expect, like, way. love to be love. You have to yeah. actually work at it and show. And, I, like, just, like, yeah, I think in my head, it was just like, oh, this is how I feel for you. This is not going to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it can change, like, really easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I agree upon that as well. Yeah. And I think we are kind of lucky enough to be in that, I call it, like, the grey generation, where we're kind of in the generation of, we were born to have like some people like being like you know yes women and fe like female and men couple that was kind of it but now we've kind of slowly growing more into the generation we're still in that what i call the gray which is more like we're learning more about like the yeah, lgbt but we're not there yet, but we're not, there it's, yet. Not, it's not normalized it's not normalized correct but i feel like we're in that gray zone because like the generation under us will hopefully accept it a lot more than well our generation accepts it but it's not as like more Normalize. Yeah, yeah. I if think that makes sense. As as generations go on, it's just gonna get more normal and normal. Yeah. But like, and we're just in that transitioning stage. Yeah, which is why, like, I remember, like, as a kid, like, and it wasn't like nothing bad, but my parents would always be like, "Oh my god, like, what do you think of that? Like that hot guy, for example, or like, you know, what's your opinion on this dude and all this stuff?" I'm like, "But what about the girl? Mm. You know, like, but is she's really pretty too? Am I not supposed to have an opinion on her because?" I'm female, so that means I can only have an opinion on you guys. You can only appreciate a guy's beauty yeah. rather than a girl's. Because I remember, like, as a kid, like, for example, my <laughs> my mum would ask, like, my cousin and I, like, oh, you know, who's your favourite, like, let's say, actor or actress, right? And, like, you know, my cousin would be like, oh, you know, I think at the time it was some One Direction. I was she just <laughs> picked the One Direction or something. But I was like, oh, you know, I really loved, like, Jennifer Aniston. And, like, but why? She's not a male. Mm. It's like, yeah, but because but I love her. She's Janice yeah. too, but she's Janice <laughs> But like, you know what I mean? It it was in my head, like, no respect. Like, girls can only date guys type of thing. Mm. And like, I only like, have learned very recently, as of like a couple of weeks ago, like, I, you know, I've been around for 18 years of my life and only just realized I have like a gay uncle. Never talked about him until like, oh, literally a couple of weeks ago. Feeling. And it's so bizarre because it's not like my family has nothing against him we all like fully accept mm. him it's just we don't talk about it mm. it's as simple as that or for example like having those conversations don't really fit and i feel like that affected the way i see relationships because yeah it was like oh i can only like a guy cool so does that mean mm. i have to play the stereotypical female roles of doing all these things because like even my grandmother was like you're female why are you playing video games yeah. you're female why are you not cooking for your man? It's like, because he has hands, he can cook. And I'm lazy and I want to play a video game. And I can't cook and I can't cut an onion. <laughs> yeah, you can't cut an onion. So, like, I always grew up with those, like, expectations in my head of, like, oh, you know, that everyone knows their role almost. Mm. Which is, again, I'm obviously yeah, way past that. Enough, but, but, like, yeah. that's what I grew up to knowing. Because... Uh, I could. I'm gonna speak on behalf of boyfriend. Yeah, go for it, go <laughs> but for he it. was very. He was like. I like. He had a very. Uh, he very, was a very gentleman. He's a, yeah. yeah, yeah. He really was very traditional in a sense. Like, okay, I, I walk in the street side of of, of yeah. the thing. I open doors. Mm -hmm. I pay for food, and yeah. I'm like, you know, I can do that stuff too. He's like, yeah. 
but I don't want you to. <laughs> yeah, because he was probably like similar to yeah, me. Yeah, he yeah. was so used to being like, but no, like I have to, because like I was always told, guys have to be chivalrous. Like if they mm. don't have that chivalry, then they're not true men and all mm. this stuff. And it's like, but can girls have that too? Yeah. yeah. Like why not? You know, because. I open the door all the mm. time for my guy. I make sure he, you know, is, I make sure he's home safe. Mm. All of those things. Like, if we take turns paying the bill for like dinners mm. or lunches or whatever we're doing, mm. or he might take dinner, I might take dessert, like mm. those things. But like before starting, I would have been like, nah, that's the guy's job because mm. it's my job to do like all this cook thing. and clean, yeah. to look pretty, to yeah, make yeah. sure that I can't eat. Yeah, to literally be the eye candy. Because I remember when I first went on a date with him, I was like. He didn't say how I looked or anything, and I was like, do I look okay to you? And he's like, well, what do you mean? Of course you look beautiful. And I was like, but you never said anything. He's like, but I don't need to say that you look beautiful for you to know it. You should know because that's just who you are. And I'm like, oh, I guess I was expecting validation because that's what I was always told. And he was just like, why should you need validation when... Like, like, like you just, just know it's just, it. It's just like, like, so you second expect, night, yeah. yeah. And so second night, you're like, of course you're beautiful. You're my girlfriend, right? <laughs> yeah, like, because he'll say it at random times, and I'd be like, but I'm literally in like trackies and an oversized t-shirt. This is not pretty. I look like a mess. And he's like, but I always love the way you look. But like, it was always you don't really see those in films. Like, you never mm. see like the girl looking like a real hot mess <laughs> and then being like, damn, that a hottie. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always like they have to be doled up, and then it's like, damn, that's when they're getting the compliments. Mm. That's when they get the whole like. Oh, now we'll appreciate or validate you or all these things. And it just was like, oh, okay, so I have to do these things to fit what it was like to be in a relationship. Or for example, like one of my other ones was like, oh, I'm in a relationship. I know that takes a lot of time because when you see in films, they're always like, oh, look at me. I am so invested in my partner. Like I spend every second with them, blah, oh, yeah. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I got into mine and I was like, oh, I guess I'll see you like next month cause yeah, because you know, like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, wait, what? We don't see each other every day. Or well, like, I don't. This is weird. Like, you know. And but, so, like, figuring out what your own relationship dynamic is mm. rather than basing it on what other movies, people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was there any particular like movie or TV show or anything in particular where you were like, yeah, one day I'm gonna have a relationship just like that, you know, like or anything where you were kind of like, or then you're like, you think about it now, it's like, oh, I actually because of this show do these certain like things occasionally or think those thoughts type of thing or anything like that kill more girls but like there's no good relationship in girls lower lie and logan mm. none of like lower lie and Sorry. Like, oh my God. Whoa. Lower lie and oh, luke wasn't um the other one the most yeah yeah, yeah yeah i was gonna say because because in the, the diner and stuff it's yeah. like that that was cute Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know. I really no, it was just like a mess, like a mesh of different of, things, of different expectations from said movies. Yeah, was it always like a particular genre? Because I know, like for example, a lot of people probably think like, oh, if you watch romance films, of course they're gonna be very one way. But was it like over a variety of different films? You felt like it was very like I like, like black and white, very like you know, like guys have to be the higher up or not higher up that's the wrong word but like you know the manlier and stronger and having to be all I, these things well actually i found that it was the ones that weren't like the romantic ones that kept those stereotypes because obviously if it wasn't the focus of the movie they had to simplify those kinds of relationships and so they stuck to those stereotypes okay. whereas with like romance films they would try and explore it a bit more but it was still like oh yeah this is what the guy does this is what the girl does yeah it wasn't completely progressive yeah so it was still very like even though it was simplified it was still like the whole like mm. you know girl gets picked up at the front door from you know yeah. the guy and all that stuff because like that's what i expected when i kind of i'm gonna say kind of one of my yeah. first date was like oh you know like, are you gonna come pick me up yeah, like, yeah. you're <laughs> gonna pick me up at the front door right you're gonna make sure all these things you're gonna drive me somewhere and like yeah, sometimes I work, sometimes it doesn't. We can't drive. So <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I, I did I did the drive. Like, I literally came to my boyfriend's rescue. Because yeah. I, <laughs> otherwise, he would be stranded. stranded. He'd be still walking Alone. home. He'd still be walking home. <laughs> and he would be home. still be walking home. And if he's listening to this, he should thank me again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand on this so he knows particularly to listen to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just put it in our group chat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like. For me, maybe I just like expected a lot of things because it, mm. it was just like either 
social media like i guess like social media is a big one too because like you see for example like instagram and all that stuff they put up all these photos like look at me i'm so happy nothing mm -hmm. bad ever happens and then like two seconds later it's all right we're broken up but we're cool don't mm -hmm. worry you're like you know there's nothing bad we're still good friends i feel like it's so easy to break up with people nowadays like mm. you see like other people in relationships and they'll just move on straight away yeah just, i don't really get that because when you like again from the movies and stuff you ex you see them all and they're all like heartbroken like it did it like yeah. it meant so much to them they're like crying and the mm. friends have to come over and be like it's okay and i'm buying some ice cream and, uh. and then of course it always ends well for them mm. but that's just not the case sometimes yeah sometimes it doesn't end okay and you just need time to heal and just figure out like hey look i am gonna take some time and it's okay and sometimes it doesn't even have to be as simple as like oh this is the next question actually what would so we talk about relationship with like obviously like our partners hmm. but what about like any like because relationships can be anything it could be like friendships it could be any of that type of stuff what did you have any like expectations of like how particular friendships would work so you know for example when you like meet a person like oh i expect this friendship to be like let's just say i expect it to be like really funny or kind of like not gross but like you know when you have like a friend that kind of talks a lot of like dirty stuff you yeah. expect it to be yeah, on those lines like that. Yeah. yeah did you yeah, ever I, have those i have a friend like that and i just thought like all of our conversations will probably be, be service level and stuff like that but like one time after lunch we just had like a really deep conversation about like mental illness and like all of and about how like growing up and like what kind of situations he was in it was just like i didn't expect that i would be having that kind of conversation mm. with you because you're just the funny one the, yeah the loud one, you know, and then you've sort of like categorized someone as that. But yeah. like, you should just be open to see what people are saying because people are people. Yeah, no, I, and I agree upon that. Have you ever had any thing like that, or? I mean, I guess it's kind of different for me because I'm obviously I'm still in school, so yeah. it's like I'm always stuck with the same <laughs> kind of people. And because we're always like as a big group, we always just kind of stick to that di yeah. that dynamic. And I guess I just never noticed it. No. I mean, uh, that probably doesn't help as well, like having, like, it helps but also not at the same time mm -hmm. because it's like, it's good to have that backup yeah. as well. But like, I know for the first time when I was meeting like, all my uni friends, I was like, oh, you're dressed in all black and you're wearing a leather jacket. I assume you're going to be probably like the edgy one of the group, very <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah. and she's like the coolest, sweetest person I've ever met and she's so chill. And then, you know, I've got like, my other friend who will talk about like, dirty stuff and I'm like, ah. That will be most of our conversations, won't it? And granted, <laughs> it is a little bit, but like, it's also more. She likes to talk about uh, multiple things, and she is more than just the assumption. Mm -hmm. So, I guess my actual question is Is it okay to assume something of someone, or is it not okay to at all? I mean, I think you can't stop assuming. That's, that, yeah, that, that's one that's thing. The thing. Like, you probably. It's, it's kind of that idea, like, oh, you shouldn't think. Like assume things about other people mm. but it's not really something that you it's can gonna happen it's gonna yeah. happen but like yeah. so it's not you can control like what other things that you assume about them, or like or at least controlling your actions of how you assume yeah people like or if you like go upon the assumption yeah, like i assume you're just gonna be a very mean person and i'm gonna treat you meanly that mm. yeah that's that's the bad that's you want to be like okay this is what i'm assuming but like you just need to recognize that that it's not, probably, not true yeah that's probably not the case and then you yeah. just have to do it with an open mind yeah because like i had an assumption on someone i was like oh you mean a lot to a particular person i'm going to assume then that you're gonna be this certain way because you're talked about so much and all mm. this stuff because people talk about obviously other people mm. and you have this like kind of picture in your head on how they are and then if you meet them and they're a bit different it's like oh i assumed you to be different to what you were spoken mm. about but that's okay because i'll get to know you for who you are and that's why i always do like the assumption rule which is you have to meet someone more least, than like yeah. twice or three times but at least one of them should be in a group scenario so then you can see, see how, how people works. react with other people yeah and that's why i don't have any opinions on both of your partners you because you haven't met them more than twice <laughs> <laughs> no I, well, I've, met Matt, I've met yours like yeah. more than twice but like i haven't had a proper conversation with them i'm not saying like oh i don't know anything about them death to them like <laughs> nothing bad i just mean like for me i don't want to be like because when people ask me you know when my parents ask me oh what do you think of like Aaron and being like partners I'll just be like I don't know yet because 
there's more to learn about them and I don't want to be like oh I met once and this was my reaction because that's not a fair thing because it could be like they were having a bad day yeah and you don't want to assume a person based on that bad day mm. so that's why I like to say I like to meet them a couple of times and at the end of the day, not saying that yours are, but like if you meet a person a couple of times and they're just shitty, then you just that's a you shitty. Know, that's you about your losses. <laughs> yeah, pretty much just. <laughs> but like that's what I mean by the whole like assumption of like three times because there are just some people that like look aren't that great. It's yeah. just as simple as that. And there are others that are great, but they might be nervous the first time you meet them, and they might act very differently mm. to how you assumed or. You know, just might act nervous in general and different. It can be like the opposite as well. I know, mm. like there was this one guy um, that I thought like we were gonna be like in, like great friends, and we were for a while, and then it just didn't turn out that way. Like I started to see like oh what his real intentions were, and it just wasn't a good thing. So it's just not easy to like have these expectations of people mm. and just stick to them because it's gonna change. change you don't know everything about them yet so. yeah mm -hmm. no i agree with that we should jump, probably jump back on the subject we we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning i went way off track but what is your like what would your i'm trying to think how to word this but your, what's your reality on relationships now reality on relationships yeah so uh, i, I yeah. can't i don't i feel like i'm not i'm not knowledgeable enough to say i'm still very much in that honeymoon no, stage okay. but you can at least talk about like even just reality or friendships it doesn't have to be like relationships speaking of my shut up <laughs> <laughs> um but you know what i mean like even like friendships like realities of those realities of like well yeah just I think anything really i went i went through a rough patch with friends over last mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. and like i feel like True friends, they're the ones that are gonna stick with you even through those tough times. Bad, you just, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like even 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 through those tough times, so you just have to like recognize who's actually like yeah. even might like you might go through hell, but like yeah. if you if you can go through that and you still have people by your side, then you know those are your true friends, mm -hmm. and that's really what's important at the end of the day. I agree, but like you don't also need to go through hell either. To, like, obviously, <laughs> that's obviously gonna help. try not to go through hell. <laughs> yeah, don't be like, oh, I wonder who my true friends are. Hey, someone break up with me and break my heart and kill me the pieces, please, so I know who my true friends are. That'd be great. Like you don't need that, but yeah, yeah no, I, I get you. that's a good point as well. That sometimes you just need to know, all right, who are actually my true friends. You know, and don't do the stupid thing where like people post on Snapchat being like, if you're my true friend, send me a I'm letter. Lonely. I'm lonely, like, please message me. Yeah, like don't do that. If you want to do that in your spare time, cool. But like, don't do that to test who's a true friend. Oh yeah, like, have you heard these things like, oh, I would like, okay, people in relationships being like, oh, I sent this really hot girl to talk to you because I wanted to see if you would cheat yeah, on me. I was yeah, just testing that, you. Like, that's... like that just like leaves it like, no. Because to me that goes, well, why did you think you needed to do that in the first exactly, place? Exactly, like that, that, there's already that like, level do you of not trust them? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you already have thoughts in your head that was going to do different did he, and, like, did you, Yeah, did you just want yourself to be proven right? Because mm. obviously if you've got like concerns like that, it's good to talk to your partner about mm. it or talk to friends about it not just be like hey i'm gonna blast you on social media about it and film it all and then you know put it online for everyone to see how horrible you are and it's just like no that's not fair mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. do you have any realities and re relationships hmm. well like what i was saying before how like i thought it would be easy mm. It's not so much that it's not easy, because I do... Oh my god, I love her so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, but, like, I just... It's not the bad thing to have to work towards. So, like, I find it quite fun sometimes, mm -hmm. like, showing her how I feel, that kind of thing. Yeah. But, like... You don't want to, like, overwork yeah. it at the same time. I don't know, sometimes I get worried. Like, I have to back off sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not too clingy, I'm like, tell me now. <laughs> Just let me know when I'll just back it up real slowly. <laughs> no, like the reality is you can't expect to be with them all the time. Mm. Like, because obviously she's in uni. Yeah. I'm still in school. So we can't see each other all the time. We can't expect to like meet up and we all like always have like family stuff going yeah. on. So. Yeah. And it definitely is harder to meet up with people, especially just in friendships or relationships yeah, in, general. in general. When Not that life gets hard, but 
Life know, gets busy. Life gets busy. And I know like some people will be like, well, if you want to see the person, you'll make time to see them. Sometimes it's just not the case. Yeah. Sometimes you like, literally have nothing. If you let them know that you're busy, it's like, hey, we'll meet up another time. And that's e- like that's easy thing to do. Mm-hmm. As long as you let them know. You know? Yeah. Like, and just even like a random message being like, hey, look, I know you're busy, but I hope you're doing okay. Yeah. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, just you'd, send you know, a quick reminder. That's not yeah. a waste of your time. And it takes like what two seconds just to say hey, exactly. hope you're doing okay, <laughs> love you. Like you know, I try you can just like send it like yeah. a like yeah. sort just of just like TikTok a thought yes. of you. <laughs> yes. So this meme send. <laughs> oh, I always do that. I just yeah. go through like Instagram and find like cute memes and I just send them to her. <laughs> like, a, just, like if I have nothing to say, that's what I'll do. So a meme reminded of you. Just <laughs> just love. like it could just be like maths and I'll be like thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> So that right angle reminded me of you. How cute! <laughs> no, it is a, it, it could be in a cute angle. <laughs> <laughs> Math jokes, everyone. Math jokes. Oh god. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to lose it. Can I send it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Send it. Uh, but I don't know. I think like the reality of relationships is just like it's not easy, really. Like mm. there are times where it is tough and. You sometimes you just have to be like, look, I'm going through a tough time. Talking to people about it is okay, whether it's a professional, whether it's your friends, family, loved ones, whoever. Even if it's as simple as, you know, I'm if you're in a relationship and it's like, all right, you know, I'm having an awesome time. Awesome, tell people. That's cool. But you don't feel like you have to tell people at the same time either, because I knew like. Like being in this relationship now, I had a lot of people be like, "Why don't you ever like boast about your relationship?" I'm like, "Cause that's not mm-hmm. my thing. It's not my thing to be like, oh my god, look at me! I've been in a relationship for like a year and a half now. Yeah. I'm like, do you want to see our like our whole history?" And you don't want to be that person either that always yeah. just talks about their significant other, like. Yeah, like obviously it's cool to talk about your partner, but like there's also that line of like. Is how how much, much yeah. is it that I'm over talking about it? Yeah, I think that's that's a problem with me. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you also you'll talk about it, but you'll integrate other things. So if you find something that connects it, you'll tag it. But you're not being like you want to sit for two hours and talk about how like, great I, can, I am. I can I can do that, but I won't. Yeah, I but you <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> I'm gonna stay home for a while. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I think the reality. There's a time and place for everything. Yeah, and like reality, like you were saying before, it's like you're not always gonna be like, oh my god, like over the moon, crazy mm-hmm. all the time. Like sometimes you're just gonna be really chill and be like, sup, dude, love you. Or if like, you want to you know, know hey. his reaction to the to 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 the. Everyone wants to know the reaction. Babe, why? Just why? <laughs> <laughs> because you're so cute. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I don't know. I just think that we have this huge like expectation and reality on like relationships and how things are gonna look solely from like what we've been brought up with mm. and you know from like what we've been told throughout the generations to m- movies and like social media, the whole lot that we're finally getting to the stage where we're starting to break down those kind of thoughts. Mm. We still got a heap like a long way to go, but at least we're still starting to break it down. So you know. As simple things as just like allowing LGBTQT plus rights to be a thing, <laughs> like because that still exists. Because that's really recent for some countries. Like yeah. Yeah. some of them still don't like, have it. I know for me, especially like I can't tell much of my family. Like my parents know, but any any of my relatives past that, like mm. I would probably not to be dramatic. I might get killed. Yeah, <laughs> because that's just how some families yeah. are. <laughs> A lot of, yeah, some of me is not like that. And I was having a discussion with mom about it in general, um, not saying anything in particular, and she was just like, oh, but I don't understand what bi is. Isn't it you're either straight or gay? Yeah. And she was like, because to her, bi wasn't a thing mm. in her time period, so she doesn't understand it. And I remember I was sitting at the dinner table when she was talking about it, and I had my boyfriend with me by my side, and he was like trying to calm me down, and I'm like, because I was getting so emotional, she wouldn't understand. Mm. And I'm here like, I don't want to tell you, but like, it sucks because then I can't just be like, well, I'm bi, does that mean you don't accept me because you don't understand it? We you literally, could, you just have to, like, part of it is just, it's not patient. Not, in, not, they're just, they, they're just education. Mm. It's not that they 
actively hate it. This yeah. is like you don't understand. Yeah, because for her, she'll be like, I don't understand. But like, I don't also care who you bring home. Like, you could bring home a girl that like, it doesn't matter. But then she goes and like, I don't understand what buys. And I get that wasn't in her time. Like in mm-hmm. her time, that wasn't a thing. As well as there is like a hundred and what seventy different names that I couldn't list. You know, and of course I'd love to learn them all so then when people do tell me I could be like oh yeah that's cool tell me more but that's just more things we're learning Mm -hmm. because like to think about there's so many that I have zero idea on and I assume you probably don't know all of them do you know what I mean (laughs) because you know there's like you just have to be accepting of like whatever like if if you're not hurting anybody then like Mm, by me. Yeah. yeah. And I think that is like a big reality of relationships is just like other than the huge like give and take part of it as well, mm. like you both have to do stuff you might not want to do. Yeah. So for example, like I have zero care on hockey, but I'll go support his games if <laughs> yeah. he when he umpires, you know, and he came to Avcom with me even though he has zero care on mm. anime and our collective agreement is we're gonna watch a firefighter anime together because <laughs> one's coming out and he's so excited he sent it to me, he was like, Oh my god, there's a firefighter anime and I'm like <laughs> you care he's like dude there's firefighters i'm watching it with you i'm like but it's anime <laughs> he goes yeah but it's firefighters. I, he, he goes, but there's firefighters i'm like you just are saying that because there's no like stereotypical like girls in there yeah, yeah. that oversized everything and he's like no they're just firefighter dudes i'm like ah this will be interesting to watch <laughs> lovely because that's yeah that's another thing um i'm very much so a people pleaser mm-hmm. <laughs> and i'm very quick to just like um to to just like accept anything yeah. and like do anything <laughs> being in a relationship he's just like you know you shouldn't really be okay with that right you should stand up for yourself you know mm. you shouldn't it's like oh i guess yeah, yeah. i think you're right i can do that <laughs> like, that I can, makes sense I can do things. <laughs> so, like, it's, it's just like someone who's like actually like monitoring not like monitoring like but like like noticing this is, these like, things. Yeah, this is yeah. what you do but why? <laughs> I guess because it's like an outside person, which sounds really weird, but like an outside person who isn't like a friend or like family. in mm-hmm. family. So they're just kind of like, they see it from a different point of view. It's like, why do you do those things? Yeah, and you, yeah. and, and like, oh, it allows you I to do? like to reflect on yourself, really. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I actually yeah. do those things since when? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I've definitely grown a lot knowing my girlfriend. Like, even when we were just friends, like, yeah. she told me a lot. Like, I don't know how to say this, <laughs> but like, just about myself, like what yeah. I do, like my actions, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like your little like quirks or yeah. things you didn't even realize you were doing. Mm. And it was just like, from there, it was easy to like understand her better mm. because, well, yeah, we like complement each other and it just, it works. <laughs> yeah, and that's like a positive as well, because it's good to have people be like oh you know did you know you do this and not be like oh you do this you suck <laughs> yeah yeah you know it's I mean? just like, coming out it's, from it's, a place of just, like mm. actually like just wanted to let you know that yeah it's a place do. of endearment en- endearment en- 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 um, yeah um what was it it was <laughs> what does i say i forget i was saying a word a word i know it had an r in it and he always asked me to say it again like why oh. like you can't say r sometimes and it's just cute and i yeah. want you to say the word again <laughs> that's funny though mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. like i can't say particular words without people thinking I'm American because I would say girl 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 yeah so they <laughs> see how they do it different like they how <laughs> so oh, like, like I spell mom as like m-o-m and everyone hates it yeah, and it's like the American like, spelling I can't I don't like spelling it with a U it, it doesn't make weird. sense because mo- mom mom is short yeah. for mother so because it makes my, sense yeah my boyfriend's the same and i just can't <laughs> but he has a good excuse he's american <laughs> he has a good excuse i still don't like it yeah but see like i'll say stuff like girl and it's it's very weird but i have zero american yeah. excuses you know but it's just i don't realize those things i apparently have a poetry reading voice which is an american accent <laughs> <laughs> i love how a poetry reading voice is just american Mm-hmm. You must be an American. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes sense for sure. But no, like, yeah, there have been some stuff where I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize that I do this until they point it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's nothing like bad. It could be something small, like, oh, did you know that like when you get really nervous, you like start your legs start to shake, or like it could be random stuff like that, or you know, you know when you feel really confident in yourself, you seem to like push your shoulders out a little more or like just like little like bits you don't like yeah you look yeah you you learn about yourself by mm. talking to people about yourself (laughs) yeah and not even just being like oh 
tell me everything about myself because mm-hmm. I want to know more about me. It's just more of like the more you're in a yeah. a group or not group, like in a relationship or some description, people tend to like notice more things about you than you ever thought you did, which is also like really good too because then you can be like you can tell them and then they'll tell you and you yeah. learn more. Which is always really helpful. Like one nice thing about being in a relationship is that like you have someone to like well re- not rely on but like you have someone that you know you could have fun with. Like mm, so it's like yeah. I played Minecraft for eight hours <laughs> in a single day. I didn't think that could be fun, but it was fun. Yeah. Mhm. 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 Yeah, because you've got that person that's by your side just to be like, you know what? We might not enjoy all the same things together, mm-hmm. but like we're gonna have fun and just like have all like. I now can't play Mario Kart with my partner, but that's okay because <laughs> I'm too salty. But that's a me thing, and I didn't. Fu- oh, I kind of realized it, but I didn't fully realize it until he was like, "Stop, please! I don't need you to tell me how horrible I am every time we play." I'm like, "Well, it's not my fault. You suck." <laughs> I'm sorry. Because no. <laughs> like, wait, wait, yeah. wait. He, this is a c- serious question. Who's better, me or your boyfriend at Mario Kart? Oh, him easily. Oh, no. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> the thing is that he's bad, but he already come in like fifth place. Oh mm, dear! Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's I say that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just to recap, I came in a solid eleventh place, tied last <laughs> in my account. But that's because like he always talks about how good of like he's good at everything, and I'm like, ha I will beat you in this game because this is my childhood. Mm. Okay, yeah. Is is that like I don't know if if guys are they just overconfident or like, themselves? I feel like, I feel like yes. they had to be. Yeah. Because going back to the whole like stereotype mm-hmm. of if the guy isn't confident, then because you know they had that whole stereotype of like, oh, like you, we have no emotions, we are a robot type of thing, mm-hmm. but they have emotions. It's very hard for them to admit weakness. Mine doesn't sometimes too much. <laughs> See, I feel like I like I never got that because, well. I didn't take. Well, you kind of did. Be nice. You kind of did. In a in endearment, right? Endearing, right? Uh, don't even remind me. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was like because she is a girl. It was easy for us to like communicate mm-hmm. our emotions in the same like uh, in the level that we'd both understand, mm-hmm. and it made it easier to pick up on like little things that she did. Yeah. Like I can tell like when she's like upset when, she's <laughs> when you sleepy. say I'm fine but you're not fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that was the biggest example I was thinking of was like you know we can, like girls will say oh I'm fine but like it's depending we'll on the know. tone yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll know yeah, 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 girls yeah. register when the tone is where guys will just take the word literal mm-hmm. and they'll, you'll say oh I'm fine and they're like okay you're fine mm, yeah, yeah sure okay then but it's like no I'm not just, 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 do you not <laughs> do understand you my tone like, I'm not like it's not like you're trying to trap them it's just that you're just honed like you just you just you, you the, know you have to pretend that you're fine because mm. that's yeah that's but you, how it goes. you expect yeah. them to notice anyway and mm-hmm. sometimes it doesn't work like that because yeah. they might not register mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or it just doesn't go across and you're just like oh maybe i should have done that a bit worse <laughs> so they yeah. understand because if you do it better it's like mm. oh communication i feel like that's like a big thing in relation like you know, yeah. like communication, communication is key it is but then it's also like yes communication is the biggest key ever at the same time it's like Oh, but if we say that communication is key and then girls are always like, I'm fine. But yeah. they're not. It's like, well, is communication then a big key? I think yeah, it still is, it is. But I think it's just more of a, like, learning to, more. Yeah. You need to be, I feel like, like, even if you're, like, upset and you don't really feel like talking to them, even though communication is mm-hmm. key, as long as you tell them, like, I don't really feel like talking right now, yeah. I'm a bit upset. Can you just, like, I'll tell you when I'm ready to talk? Yeah. yeah. When I'm more comfortable, I will let you know how I'm feeling right now I just need some me time type mm-hmm. of thing but yeah so even it's just like I like I don't want to talk just give me a hug and then I'm good. yeah <laughs> that's me most of the time like I'm not a very like talkative person in general mm-hmm. so if I'm upset I just I would just want to curl up in her yeah. lap and like cry <laughs> and that's all like the communication you might need really is just a simple hug mm. it might not be verbal communication but it's body communication mm-hmm. yeah and because that. My boyfriend is a very tactile person. He he's a very big fan of the hugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and mine likes to cuddle a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like like oh like 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 wait, this like 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 this is this is like a go-to like, you know. He my, just like this is he spent like an entire party like this, <laughs> just you know. I would do that if he's in a cuddly mood. He would do the whole like, 
This one? Yes! <laughs> and you like nestle your head in and then sometimes you're like, mm. And I'm like, okay, you're in a cuddly mood. It's okay. It's like having a koala attached to you. <laughs> you're just a koala. <laughs> That's well, great. it's because it's easy because she's taller than me. So whenever I do, Maybe? like, e- mm. whenever I stand near her, it's just like, oh, yes, cuddle time. <laughs> yeah, like, mine's taller than me, but, like, if I'm sitting down, who will manically be like, hmm, cuddle time? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, you just want love and attention. Got you. It's like a, it's like a puppy. It is. <laughs> Feed them. Just tell them you love them. It's fine. <laughs> Communication. Set. Set. <laughs> Set. Here's some food. Oh. <laughs> uh. Did you guys want to talk about anything else with expectations versus reality on relationships? Or did you feel like we covered it all? I didn't think I would be Just know that everything's different. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone is different. Mm. Like, you can't expect the same things. Like, if you're moving on from one relation to to another, you can't expect the same things. Because it's not the same people and you've learnt from that past one and used that things that you learn to make yourself better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know I agree on that. And I think the, like, major key as well is that... Yes, relationships are all different, but remember that you are still in that relationship. You're you are still growing and evolving mm. and changing, and you might change who you love or don't love, and that's perfectly okay. Mm. What you think is perfectly okay, and it's more than happy to just say those thoughts and you know however it goes, it may go. But just never forget that the biggest relationship to care about is the one with yourself, because if you're not okay, it's hard for other people to make sure you're okay too yeah. Um, yeah. thank you so much for being on the podcast mm. <laughs> disgusting I love ew, I guess. affection ew. Ew. love and attention don't know what that is <laughs> disgusting do <laughs> it again <laughs> that is great I love that thanks I hate it 